Um, we're gonna use... Yeah, let's continue with this revolver. It does really nice damage. Oh, I probably should have waited. Probably would have, like, regenerated all my health or some shit like that. What do we got? 13%. Doing it live. Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Good thing you ran away, or I'd be fucked. Okay. I need to switch to a more reliable gun. 10 millimeter will probably work. Ares is awesome. Yeah, I did it. Um, that'll help out my health while I hack this terminal. Okay, guys, I'll be dead honest. My method of hacking in Fallout 3, they they fixed. Which I'm pretty pissed off about. Okay. Go hacking. No, but my normal method of hacking was if I, I would guess three times, then remove all the duds, and if I still hadn't opened it, um, I would close down the terminal and start it up again, because it would give you um, Bison Steve Maintenance Key. I never noticed that before. But it would always, like, give me, it would always start it up again, like, with all your, all fresh, um, all your, uh, passcodes and stuff you can, like, redo. But, uh, no, it, it, it still happens this time, but it doesn't let you skip through the, uh, loading up, logging in, all that crap. So I guess they kind of fixed it in a way. All right, I need to quick save more. See, there we go. Extra shot. Okay. Uh, ooh, Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. Holy shit. Never noticed that one. Uh, that's a skill book, by the way. There are a lot of, uh, like challenge books, I guess you could call them, but, damn, I just, like, owned him, but, uh, skill books you keep forever, uh, the non-skill books, they last for a little while, it's not a super long amount of time, And this part right here is, in my opinion, the hardest part of the game. I'm not fucking joking, this one room. Although I could over come over here and get Bison Steve. Which I'm doing. Bitch! Maintenance key for the win. Okay. I don't suppose you okay. came here to... Why, well, yeah. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be... Indeed, I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you. Okay. Oh, that's just marvelous. <laughs> I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I... Alright. Let's fight some bitches. What's up, escaped convict leader? How do you like six bullets in your brain? Alright. <laughs> that guy just like took him in the back <laughs> so many times. Oh. Still some lively ones. 
Ah. That's a much, much easier way to take it than I usually do. Take this area. Alright. Escape convict leader. He has a lot of good stuff, including the incinerator, leather armor. Uh... Excellent. Apparently there's someone like still around. So we'll need to find him. Hmm. Oh well. Guess it was nothing. No, there's somebody here, Mr. Beagle. Bro, that's my kill. I did not know there was a second story to this. Interesting. Um, no, I'm not interested in going up there. That woman's probably up there. This game makes no fucking sense when it comes to, um, NPC locations. Like, she's probably gonna fucking spawn as soon as I walk in that door. Like, you got no clue how I'm afraid of her right now. Because I've had, um, okay, so the gatekeeper to New Vegas... He well, followed me to the Silver Rush. We taught um, those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Problem. Okay. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on recon. some of the powder gangers. When some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. Powder bangers. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. All right. Hello again. Oh no, I'm just a. You will. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF, maybe. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town. They didn't shoot the deputy. Anyway, um, yeah, we need some sensor modules before we can get our first companion, i.e. Eddie. Eddie's a cool guy. Um, so we're going to head over, see if we can get all the supplies that we need. There are two areas we can get the supplies that we need to repair Eddie. There's the NCR camp over here, and there's also the Mojave um, outpost in the south. But uh, I'm probably going to cut the recording once we get to the uh, Mojave Outpost. And I'll call it a day because I'm extremely tired. I woke up at 4 in the morning. Didn't go to bed at 4 in the morning. Got up at 4 in the morning. So I'm pretty tired. It's about 11 right now. Hello. Uh, let's see what they got. Scrap metal, scrap electronics. Not what I need. They do have some ammo. Perfect. How the hell am I detected? They're sleeping. Unfucking believable. Fucking creeps have eyes in the back of their heads. We won't go quietly. Yeah, but I have no concerns about karma. Because all I need to go is go to the powder gamer, powder, powder ganger's uh, head camp, and kill everyone there, and uh, voila! Instantly, we're very good karma. It's kind of a joke. Okay, well, I've concluded that there is no possible sensor modules here. Um, we're going to put that on because that does give us some small amount of damage resistance. However insignificant or useless it is. Uh, we're going to drop that because that weighs a lot. Alright. Let me see if we... No, okay. You don't regain all your health from waiting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Take some of those Nuka Colas. <sighs> that 
that time it was for my drink. I'm drinking a combination of Sprite, Diet Coke, and Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and quick save. Actually, we're going to pull out that heavy incinerator and use it. Whoa, that's a lot of 9mm pistols. Use up some of those. There we go. And we're going to use this. It has kind of like one use. We're going to use it to kill the people that have the cowboy repeater, which we do want. Actually, before we do that, though... But if you are wondering why I put my luck at 9, in Fallout 3 it was a completely useless skill, although you didn't want to ever put it too low, I think. But uh, Fallout New Vegas, you got the casinos, man. Um, pretty much you can break all the casinos and in the process get about a few thousand caps. And by a few thousand, I mean a few ten thousand caps. Bam. And... Bam. Oh, two shots, two kills. Got to give me some points, guys. All right, now we get the incinerator out. Right as we turn this corner. Thank you. Oh, level up. Come on, give me level up, give me level up. Yes, I know there are enemies around the corner. Fuck. Shit. Oh, come on, feral ghouls. Shit. I don't... Shit, I'm gonna die. Damn it. God. Man, talk about shitty luck. I need to get rid of this bitch. Wow, my aim is so fucking... God, she keeps rehealing. Damn it, die already. Yes. Ugh. That fight did not turn out as I had wanted it to. Thank you! <sighs> oh. Fucking unreliable. Piece of shit. Okay. She didn't even have the gun that I wanted. I was hoping... Seven bottle caps. Okay. Man, they have... Of the four other times I've played this game, they've had a cowboy repeater there, but never have I seen 10mm pistols. 10mm pistols are extremely good guns, and trust me, I'd much rather have a 10mm than a... Um, than a uh, cowboy repeater. Although it's just kind of weird that I got a 10 millimeter instead of a cowboy. Anyway, although I hope I get a cowboy repeater soon. I hear like 
Rad scorpions? Nah. Alrighty. Speaking of rad scorpions, there's some over there. It's funny because actually having high perception doesn't help that much because you have music cues all the time. Yeah, I like doing this. It's always fun watching your character. And by the way, I'm doing auto run right now. I'm not sure if they had it in Fallout 3, but I fucking love it because I played it on the Xbox 360. Yeah, but anyway, um, it's probably like really late, but uh, I did upgrade my computer to a i7-950, which it's uh, four cores at uh, 3.06 gigahertz. So about a total of about 12 gigahertz, which my old CPU is about uh, a dual core at 2.5, so you can obviously understand the huge difference. What that? What's that guy running from? Probably running from my awesomeness. Oh, I didn't talk to that lieutenant guy when I was over at his tent. Probably could have could have gotten two quests done at the same time. Oh well. I'll have to go back there once I get Eddie anyway. Oh uh, no. Well, we're gonna see if there are parts for Eddie. Nope. Although I do want that. Ugh. I ran into the same problem last time. There weren't any parts to repair Eddie. And if you're wondering what parts I need, I need um, a sensor module. I need sensor modules, pretty much. Those are the hardest parts to find. Let's just uh, go ahead and talk to Ranger Jackson, though. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry. Only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Hell. Now, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road. Thanks. I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Alrighty. Yeah, he's uh, he's not allowed to like hire mercenaries or whatnot. Which interestingly they do later in the game. Kind of contradictory. I don't think I can talk to him about the other quest first. But uh yeah, that's where we're gonna be stopping for tonight. Go ahead and make a save, thanks for watching, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video, whenever that is. Bye.